Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the swatches panel. Now, like the color panel, the swatches panel allows you to pick from a range of different colors and allow you to quickly select them. Where the color panel is different than the swatches panel is the swatches panel allows you to pick from many preset colors that are pre-selected for you so you don't have to go through a color picker. And you can just easily switch between them by picking from them. You may also add them right here and add them to your current color palette. And it will bring it to the front. So there's many different panels you can choose from. There's the grays, there's colors, gradients, there's the Apple ecosystem, web safe colors, system, crayons, and there's all these Pantone ones, which are all different sorts of pre-selected swatches that allow you to easily pick swatches for a certain project. So they're all here and easy to pick, and if you want to bring them to the top, you can drag up. Uh, in the swatches panel, there's the stroke and fill colors. There's the color picker, like most other panels that involve color. There's the opacity slider. These as you allow you to add palettes. Uh, you can add it to the system, application, or just the document. You can sort them. You can import palettes if you download them. And you can add different colors. You can search your color if you have a certain color you have in mind. And it is allowed easy access in any sort of palette. So you can just add it in any palette. So I just added the purple one into gradients. And if I select this, it's an easy pick. So that's the basics of the swatches palette. If you have any questions, uh, comment below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, comment that below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials. Thanks for watching.